We're over 10 days into the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season, and we have our first tropical wave of interest that's already brought impacts to the United States in the way of heavy rainfall in Florida. The National Hurricane Center tagged this weather system as an invest that has a low probability of developing into our first named storm of the year, which, by the way, is Alberto. Odds for development are 10% low over the next two days and 20% through the next seven. It's currently located in the northeast Gulf of Mexico, eventually moving off the southeast coast of the U.S. So you heard me refer to this system as an INVEST. What in the world is that? Well, let's decode it. INVEST is short for an investigative area, simply an area of disturbed weather we want to keep tabs on for the potential of tropical development. This INVEST is INVEST 90L. The 90 is a recording number that cycles from 90 to 99. The letter in this case, L, signifies that it is located in the Atlantic Basin. However, that's not the only letter you may see, depending on what basin you're looking at. E signals a system in the Eastern Pacific. A C means Central Pacific. Okay, let me address a question I know you have. Why don't they use an A if it's in the Atlantic? Great question. They don't because A is used for tropical systems in the Arabian Sea. You'll hear the word invest tossed around a lot this season and is the precursor to tropical systems and perhaps even named storms. You can see it's the first stage of the tropical life cycle. If further development occurs, the invest will become a tropical depression as long as its winds are less than 39 miles per hour and it has a close center of circulation. Next is a tropical storm. Winds are now greater than 39 miles per hour and this is where it gets a name. Winds over 74 miles per hour and we've got ourselves a hurricane. From there, different categories depending on wind speed. We've got our eyes on the tropics for an active season ahead. Tropical activity is possible from now right through November. For 13 News Now, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagis.